Hi, I'm Sue. Welcome back to Blue Heron Hill. It's another day of sweet potato harvest. We've got this big uh, bin right here, not too much foliage, and I think I'm going to be doing this bin right here. I'm going to, uh, and maybe I can get to one more bin in this video. But I was so excited about the results of the first sweet potato harvest. I can link it up there. It was just my last video that um, I thought I'd spread it out over a couple because I don't want them too long. I'll just keep them short and sweet, just like those potatoes are gonna be. Anyway, so come along with me while I dig in the dirt for these sweet potatoes I'm gonna try right there. As with all mounds of sweet potatoes, it's easier to clip off the foliage. Now the last one, I clipped off some, uh, some ends to start my sweet potato slips, and they are doing fine. Um, I don't think I need any from, from this bed. Looks like I planted one, two, maybe three slips in this. Okay, I can already see. Now well, let me get you down again. You can already see a mound here, a mound here, and a mound here. All right, let's dig. The soil is a little compacted here. Uh, maybe a little bit more than a little compacted. Staying away from the slip, the original slip here, because I don't want to mix any of the sweet potatoes. all the way down the side. I have a better idea. I have done this many times in the past. I've just dumped this whole bin right out. I want to save the soil, so I just don't want to dump it out onto the grassy area that's around here. Rather than to hazard a nick on these sweet potatoes, I think by dumping it out and then separating, have the dirt fall away from it, will be a much better plan. So let's see if I can tip this container. Okay, now you can see this big clump here. Quite a mass. There is one huge sweet potato. Well, look at that guy. It's like a giant uh, football. Let's see what else was in his group here. Looks like that may have been the only one on that slip because this is the next slip.
I just buried my teeth in this bed. guy curled up along the side of the container. Okay, here's our crop from this this one bin. One giant football, an assorted other little, some medium, but all will be wonderful. They will go into the greenhouse again and uh, cured, just like I explained in the last video. So let's go to the next bin. Okay, next bin. Same thing. In starting to tackle it, cut off the foliage so you can see what's going on. I've got a mound here. A mound here. And there's a mound here. And then a mound over here. And perhaps something here. So. Let's see if we can't dig these out by hand. If not, I've got plastic down and we'll dump just like we did the other one. I think I will dump this out and make sure I got every last sweet potato. So let's see what the crop looks like. There we go. More than the last bin. But Nothing to be ashamed about. I think it's wonderful. Bravo, well done soil. Good sweet potato crop. Okay, let's do one more bin. Okay, last, last bin right here. The foliage on this one is um, much more expansive than the the other two that I did. And then in the previous video, the, um, the first two that I did. So I'm expecting, fingers crossed, a good harvest because of, of the massive amount of foliage. Now I always get a little bit of, uh, you know, insect damage, but uh, I'm all about sharing, except for the bowls. They were nasty. So, going to cut off the foliage and see what it looks like from the top view here. Now, I don't know too much about sweet potatoes. Um, I've been growing them just as an amateur, you know, for a number of years. And I've heard for a, a few few people will keep pulling up the foliage as it spills over and, and roots into the ground. 
Um, I always thought that rooting into the ground is going to help it with more nutrients, but it also wants to form more sweet potatoes where it hits the ground and forms roots. So if anybody knows, is this a good thing to pull up these roots and stop them from rooting in the ground as they creep and crawl outward? Um, I'm kind of mixed and conflicted about that. I think that anything to give them more nutrients is a good thing. Anyway, uh, any suggestions, comments, put them down, uh, down below. I'd love to hear what, what people think about that. So, let's get back to this bin. It looks exciting. Let's bring it in here. I'm on my plastic because I'm going to dump this bin too, I think. So, here we are. This is massive over here. It's just erupting out of the ground. Um, there's one here, and you can see that it has rooted into the ground also. So that's what brought that question to mind. Okay, here's what I got from that bin. I did dump it out and got a few more that were way down at the bottom. So let's put these all together and take a look at the, at the massive amount of harvest that I got on three, uh, three of my, my bins. Final totals. The first bin was five pounds. This looks like more than five. This one itself looks like five pounds. That was five pounds. The second one was eight pounds. That is a biggie. And the third one was another eight pounds. So eight and eight and five, plus the 10 from before that are down on the lower rack so remember, sweet potatoes need to be cured. And curing for sweet potatoes is warmth and humidity. So they are in my greenhouse, which is warm. Right now it is oh, about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And I cover them with towels to keep the humidity up. I'm going to be putting all of these down below and covering them and they're going to stay in here hopefully two weeks and then they go into long-term storage in a cool, dry, dark place for another four weeks and then by that time their starches will have converted to sugars and they will truly be sweet potatoes. So that's a wrap up on sweet potato video number two. I have two more of those large bins to harvest and I'll be getting at those probably in a few days. It's calling for rain. I don't think I want to do it in the rain. So we may wait a day or two before um, I get to those. But I appreciate you following along on this video. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe boost my, my uh, subscriber numbers and comment if you have any questions or just a comment on uh, if you're growing sweet potatoes, how's your crop this year? Um, I'm very jazzed about what I had being pulled out of those bins. I think it's going to solve a lot of my sweet potato problems. 
So until the next time that we can go digging in the dirt, happy gardening. Bye.